Hello, Emma Kosnick with the Vices Group here with Clint Clevenger, Senior Vice President U.S. of Green Staff Medical, joining us today for Three Minutes of Wisdom. Welcome, Clint. Hi, Emma. Thanks for having me. Clint, tell us about yourself and Green Staff Medical. Yeah, uh, I have responsibility for all of U.S. operations for Green Staff Medical. Um, we're a very unique firm. We certainly offer, in, only in the healthcare space, several offerings, but we also have an international presence across the globe. So we're actually headquartered out of London um, with delivery services in both the U.S., Canada, the United Kingdom, Australia, Japan, and China. Clint, you were talking to us about what success looks like for staffing firms in a post-pandemic environment. Tell us more about what that looks like. COVID created a great opportunity for staffing firms in the healthcare industry. But a lot of folks that I talk to right now are really struggling to adopt to the new normal that we've entered into. Uh, that challenge is really because much of staffing, whether we want to admit it or not, was really transactional during that period. We were jumping from crisis to crisis. We were constantly trying to fill whatever open need uh, wherever possible consistently during that period. And that type of recruitment really became permeated throughout our businesses. And we've really entered a new phase now. One where firms have to both embrace technology, but also understand how to actually be a partner to their clients. And I think this is true regardless of who you think is your customer, whether it's a candidate, the healthcare system, or an MSP that you partner with, we're all struggling in those aspects. So what is one way staffing firms can improve their relationships with their clients and candidates? That's a great question. For us, I think it starts with defining what partnership means. It needs to be more than just helping to facilitate a transaction successfully. So if it's just getting a candidate placed, that's not enough value add anymore for the candidate or for the client. Um, it's really focused on adding value to the relationship for the customer. In some cases, it means redefining what success with the client might look like. Uh, we viewed success oftentimes in our own terms as an industry based on how many hours we build, how much revenue was generated, instead of aligning success to how the client views it. And that's true not just for customers. I think that's true for candidates as well. A lot of people I talk to struggle on the recruitment side and moving away from a transactional relationship. And we think about what does that mean to add value to the candidate interaction are you a true consultant for the candidate and helping them navigate their career instead of facilitating a placement? Uh, do you have support resources for the candidate so that they have somebody to turn to when they're stressed out on assignment uh, to talk to so that they can have resources? Your MSP, it might be mean, mean filling something you wouldn't have normally tried to source for that's really hard. That's a pain point for them and the, their client relationship and helping them do that otherwise. Those types of actions we think are going to create unique value for a lot of firms. Uh, there's a lot of different ways that you can do it, but it takes time to be able to get that done. Yes, time and refocusing from a product-oriented focus to a customer-centric focus and value proposition is important to the longevity and success of any company. Clint, what is one piece of wisdom you want to leave with our listeners today? I think... One piece of wisdom I'd leave with folks today is that if you put the client experience at the center of your decision making, you will build partnerships with those clients. If you leave it to the outside and center on your own success before the client experience, you are likely facilitating a transaction. Thank you so much, Clint. It was a pleasure having you on. Thank you, I appreciate it.